Hello everyone, once again welcome back to my channel Advanced Technology by Rana and this is Jahazeb Amin with you. In the previous episode, I built a new Cisco Unity publisher and then import the configuration from my older version which was 12.5 and in this episode I am going to do a new uh, Cisco Unity subscriber and then import the configuration from my SFTP server and then it will become a new cluster with the new version. The advantage for doing uh, this uh, import option for Cisco Unity Publisher and Subscriber that I'm going to build a new virtual machine with the new hardware and the new software specs which were required for the new version. But my configuration I'm able to import from my older version in the installation process. So let's start our lab for today. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel because it takes a lot of time to bring a result oriented installation in front of you and provide you assistance. So if you are doing something uh, in your production environment for the Cisco Unity, Cisco Call Manager, IM Presence upgrade with the help of import and export data option, believe me, this is the best platform for you and you find the best results here so let's start our lab for today to build a new cisco unity subscriber and remaining thing we will discuss during the installation so this is my vmware hypervisor so i will just go over here in the create new virtual machine and i will make a new uh, deploy a new virtual machine from an ova ovf template make it next I will select the Cisco Unity name, which I will do it subscriber. And I will select here the OVA template. This is my Cisco Unity OVA template. Make it next. License agreement I will accept. Next. Select the correct network. Make it next. And finish. Okay. So then I will associate my ISO image data store and this is my new ISO image from the CUC which is bootable okay make sure you have a bootable image then I will make it connect at power on and I will make it safe Okay, so we will begin with the media test. I'll make it okay. It will verify the integrity of the media to check that ISO image is in the right form to start the installation. Okay, so verification has been done now. Now it will detect the server hardware and check uh, the, uh, the availability of the resources. And then it will continue. So now I will make it OK to start the process. Version it is showing me that it is 1501. Make sure before installing the version for Cisco Unity that it is compatible with your Cisco call manager because in the end so your Cisco Unity have to communicate with your Cisco uh, call manager for uh, the IVR and other options. So make sure the version is compatible. So the same option, what it asked me during the installation of the publisher that uh, we want to proceed or import. So same thing I will do here, I will make the option import. So in the later stage, it will ask me about my SFTP directory to import the configuration for my subscriber. So I'll make it import.
so we were uh, installing the operating system components and other components are in the process and i hope we will uh, successfully able to complete the subscriber installation as well same as uh, cisco unity publisher of course it will ask some option related with the machines ip address dns ntp and especially the sftp option to import the configuration so once it will ask uh, i will continue from that one so for the uh, for now i am just uh, pause my video and will continue when it will ask for the other information okay uh, so viewers now it asking about uh, the information about my sftp so i will provide this information first i will select uh, the time zone okay next speed i will continue mtu i will make it default dhcp I, i will make it no yes i'll enter the information ip address make sure that this information is correct okay so as soon as this component is is uh, successful i'm able to ping my machine now it is uh, 105 okay so i will configure the dns as well because i already configured in my domain okay so once it's configured i'm able to ping with the dns yes config network is done so i'll show you now i'll make it ping c uh, okay this was my dns okay now again back to my sftp i'll give the ip for my sftp server and this is the export data directory i'll show you once again okay my directory is this one i'll make it unity backup okay so once i will click here i have i have to copy this one cluster dash this one okay so i will just give over here Okay, I'll make sure once again it is cluster dash because if this is wrong, the import will not be done. Okay, this fine. Then I'll give the credentials for my SFTP. Okay, I hope my import will be successful and it will show me message here. that the import process is uh, uh, reached to 100% or not okay so here it is showing copying data uh, from import so this is the thing it's copying the configuration which i export to sftp server from there now it is importing to my newly built cisco unity subscriber once this process is done i believe the main uh, thing what we have to achieve to get my older configuration will be completed okay and now it's done now so i'll just provide this information unit i can give anything
okay is this first node in the cluster in the subscriber i will make it no in the publisher i'll make it yes and i have to make sure that this node has been added in my publisher either it is a call manager either it is a presence either it is a cisco unity okay in both ways in any one we have to add this one so i'll just log in to cisco my unity publisher and i'll go over here in the administration somewhere here cluster okay system setting cluster i'll make it fine and i already have ksa cisco unity 02 with the ip address the reason i make import option on my cisco unity publisher if i did not use the import option then i will not find my cisco unity subscriber here i have to add it manually but because i have import the configuration in the import configuration in the older the, this information was already there so i do not need to add it anymore okay yes it's already there and it's by by the way it's by the dns okay so i'll come back over here i will say no this is not the first node and it's giving a warning message that if this is not the first node in the cluster you must first configure this on the first node before you can proceed okay so i'll make it okay okay it said if you want to verify the connectivity of subscriber with the publisher select it no but if you want if you don't want make it yes it's better to check it right now i'll make it no okay connectivity to the first node i'll give the host name i'll give the ip address okay security password it took by default why i am using the import option if i don't using the import option it will ask me but right now i'll keep it as it is default okay so now it is uh, running connectivity validation now the subscriber is uh, uh, connecting uh, with the publisher and it will uh, check the connectivity so once it done i believe our major task will be completed in terms uh, of connectivity uh, with the publisher in terms of import data from my sftp server and now the remaining things will be just uh, updation of the component and other things which i believe uh, does not have so much priority i believe right now we are on the right path and uh, it will be uh, successfully finish for the subscriber okay so the uh, connectivity test with the publisher is done now and uh, not asking me about smtp i'll make it no not saying the platform configuration is complete select okay to continue or back for any change i will not do any change i'll make it okay so we were uh, let it finish for the subscriber and then we will summarize our uh, today episode okay and uh, so far uh, we are doing all the uh, labs successfully for the cisco call manager for uh, iim present cisco unity and uh, now the cisco unity clock is uh, setting up as per the first node because it's syncing with the publisher so let's wait for some more, some more time and then we will uh, conclude our episode for today
so we were finally we are able to install the cisco unity uh, subscriber successfully i am able to log in now you can see my cli so we have finished our uh, series for the import and export data option for cisco unity publisher subscriber and parallel cisco call manager and im presence so i hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel and provide your comment because it's take a lot of time to provide you result oriented uh, videos so you can uh, fix your issues and uh, cover up your production and your live environment so i will see uh, what else topic i will cover in the upcoming video so until that time uh, take care allah hafiz and goodbye